So which of the following is the most likely underlying cause of this infant's presentation? A two-month-old infant is brought to the pediatrician by his mother due to episodes of cyanosis and difficulty feeding. If the mother states that the baby turns blue, especially when crying or feeding. On examination, the, the infant has a um, systolic ejection murmur that is best heard at the upper left sternal border. Um, an echocardiogram is performed and reveals a large VSD, overriding aorta, and right ventricular hypertrophy, and pulmonary stenosis. Which of the following is the underlying cause of this patient's um, symptoms? So usually with the whole like um, diagnosis, it's the ones that begin with T, right? So I am between transposition position of the great arteries and unequal division of the truncus arteriosus. I'm down to those two because it can't be PDA, no machine like murmur, can't be coarctation of the aorta too young, and it can't just be ASD either because that also wouldn't cause the um, aortic stenosis. But given that these are all together, I am going with the unequal division of the truncus arteriosus. Okay, good. Good, 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 right? If it's presentation, right, cyanosis, difficulty feeding, um, systolic ejection murmur, and then large VSD overriding aorta, right ventricular yeah. hypertrophy, right? All of this is like, you know, detrology, detrology low, low. Yeah, right? exactly. which is unequal division of a truncus arteriosus. So good, 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 yeah. good. Yeah, and the rest, like you said, machine-like murmur, right? Usually coarctation of aorta is hypertension in the upper extremities, weak pulses in the lower. ASD mm -hmm. is usually going to be kind of that split S2 sound is what they'll say. Transposition of the... Um, great arteries, right? Um, so parallel circulations, it's usually presents with severe cyanosis right after birth. And then the PDA keeps these kiddos alive, right? So. Right, yeah.